हेलो एवरी वन अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू प्रेजेंट हियर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप्स माइक्रोस्कोप्स आर डिवाइसेज दैट हेल्प अस टू गेट अ मैग्नीफाइड व्यू ऑफ अ टाइनी और माइक्रोस्कोपिक ऑब्जेक्ट्स नाउ दीज डिवाइसेज आर ऑफन इक्विप्ड विद अ कैमरा थ्रू विच वी कैन कैप्चर द व्यू द फोटोग्राफ एज वेल and some other microscopes are not equipped with a camera as you see in the laboratory the light microscope or the compound microscope that you are using they are not equipped with a camera while electron microscopes like tem sem these are always equipped with a camera so that you can capture the picture or the view that you are getting there are certain light microscopes or more to be more precise uh, compound microscopes which can be equipped with a camera to get a photograph here in this class we are going to discuss about sem or scanning electron microscope its discovery working principles and applications so scanning electron microscopes are those high end microscopes that give black and white 3d images that mainly help us to know topography composition and crystallography of the specimen under study what is topography topography is the surface feature of the object composition it denotes the amount of elements and compounds in an object and crystallography is what it explains the arrangement of atoms we use sem because it has very high magnification it has large depth of focus and it has very good resolution these are the basic reasons why we use scanning electron microscopes as i've already to told you sem and tem tem means transmission electron microscope are two of the most widely used electron microscopes that have multiple applications in the field of life sciences i'm focusing on life sciences because we are doing microscopy as a part of our life science syllabus but it has multiple uses in all fields of study basically now if we talk about the discovery sem or scanning electron microscope was invented by max knoll in the year 1935 now we'll talk about its working principle the first and foremost thing that you need to keep in mind is that sems or scanning electron microscopes use emitted electrons it works on the principle of impinging the fine beam of high energy electrons on the surface of the specimen and obtaining a variety of signals from the specimen surface to determine its property so in simpler words what we can say it uses a beam of high energetic electrons it produces images by detecting the secondary electrons so what are secondary electrons secondary electrons are produced by emission of valence electrons of atoms in a sample now these secondary electrons are emitted from the surface due to excitation from a primary beam a focused electron beam rapidly scans the sample which emits secondary electrons to be knocked off the surface of the sample the secondary electron which are emitted at the deep region in the sample will have small energy thus they are absorbed by the sample those electrons emitted at the top of the surface are used to observe the topography of the sample surface Now see sem image is obtained by tracing a sample in a raster. Now what is a raster? A rectangular pattern of parallel scanning lines. 
with an electron beam. A beam of energetic electrons are emerged from the electron gun and approached a series of electromagnetic lenses. These are often called solenoids. They are wrapped in scanning coils and the coils are adjusted to focus the incident electron beam onto the sample. The source of the electrons and the electromagnetic lenses are from tungsten filament lamps that are placed at the top of the column and it is similar to those of transmission electron microscope which we are going to study in our next class. Here also we will come to uh, learn about certain different terms like backscattered electrons and secondary electrons I have just now told you. So these two terms there will be multiple terms but for the time being these are two important terms that you should keep in mind. One is the backscattered electrons and the other is secondary electrons. Now what are backscattered electrons? These are high energy electrons scattered out of the sample and only losing a small amount of energy. They originate from deep within the sample and interact strongly with the sample. They provide compositional information and lower resolution images. These electrons are reflected back after elastic interaction between the beam and the sample. On contrary, take a look at the secondary electrons. These come from within a few nanometers of the sample surface with a lower energy compared to the backscattered electrons. They are very sensitive to the surface structure and provide topographic information Secondary electrons originate from the atoms of the sample. They are a result of inelastic interactions between the electron beam and the sample. So these two terms are extremely important for you to remember and understand. So this is all about the mechanism or the working principle of scanning electron microscope. So basically what is it doing? It is giving you a clear idea about the topography of the specimen under study. Now we will also take a look at its advantages or applications or uses. It has got multiple uses, you know, it is used in the field of uh, research, diagnosis of diseases, food industry in studying the structure of microbes, multiple uses it has. Now, we cannot write everything. If we sit to write about the uses of scanning electron microscope in details, you will read it you will need at least 10 pages 20 pages to write so to make it little crisp and concise we can say that it has got multiple uses like it is used to study different body parts of insects or microorganisms like bacteria fungi it is used in food industry it is used in material science to uh, study the structures of different uh, atoms of different elements it is used in research academics and education it is used in arts it's used in di disease diagnosis as I've told you that is it's used in the field of medicines everywhere it has some uses or the other so this is how we come to an end of our brief lecture on scanning electron microscope i hope you have enjoyed learning with me if you have any confusion any doubt please feel free to get back to me in the comment section till then happy learning and stay connected thank you and goodbye